So, here I am. End of day one. Ha! No big deal. <laughs> it was awesome. It was so awesome. Um, sporting my fancy t-shirt. I'm uh, pretty proud of being a part of all this. Um, Nikki built this amazing studio that I've felt just a part of since I started going there. I mean, it was really, I got drawn in at the beginning of this year when I was local and I could go there more often, but um, it's just become family for me. And, and today it was so, I'm um, just so great because she's just perfect and her teaching style is perfect and everything that she's she says and she does just makes so much sense to me and I just know that I'm in the right place and I have the right teacher and I have the right students around me and it feels just amazing and so we started the day doing an hour and a half of yoga Nikki's kick butt yoga and uh so many doubts going on in my head, you know. Oh my gosh, this class is so hard. What am I doing? What makes me think I could be a teacher? You know, every moment can't be. I got this. <laughs> Sometimes I don't feel like I got this. And I'm sure that everybody else in that class feels that way too. Um, and then we had an hour and a half break. And I didn't know it. Um, all, all along, Nikki's been saying, we're going to live at the studio. So um, it was pretty funny because I took pretty much everything to camp out over there. And I had food and had all my clothes for the day. But uh, I got to come home and take a shower. It was so awesome because after her class, you're just sopping wet. So I came home and um, ate my breakfast and had some quiet time and then I took a shower and then, ah, 10 minutes to get back. Um, and I think at that point I still was undressed. So uh, I grabbed everything and headed down there and uh, it was five hours and it just went by like that. Um, I was worried about my back as we sat on the floor all day, but uh, no problem either. Um, I just sat what how I felt comfortable, and when I wasn't comfortable anymore, I just changed. And everybody else did too. We we're all just kind of laying around and sitting around. And I bought a back jack yesterday, and I, I saved that for after dinner. And when I brought that out, oh my god, everybody was <laughs> so crazy about that. They um, they thought it was pretty cool, but um, we learned a lot of stuff about how to teach and the different um, parts of teaching and uh, then it was all about muscles and joints and moving them and anteriorly and posteriorly and uh, laterally and median and blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh, I've got so much to learn. That, that was just kind of like over here. Uh, yeah. I really couldn't keep up. But it was um, the first day. Whatever, I'll get it. And... Earlier in the day, we had to say what our favorite posture was and the posture that we hoped to conquer. And so, when it came time to teaching, we got to teach our favorite pose. And I actually wasn't as nervous as I thought I might be. Pretty cool. And I got up when it was my turn to go up and teach my pose. And I do what I do with everybody. I think that they want me to go faster. And they don't want to hear what I have to say. Um, that I'm using too many words and maybe I should just be done. And it's okay for me to slow down. It's okay for me to use my words. Um, the 
pause part was the hardest because it felt like it was my my story was that everybody was in the pose thinking what's wrong with her what's next what oh, we're, we've been in this pose for guess what a breath <laughs> um maybe two um Tomorrow I'll take a deep breath and then I'll take another deep breath and then it might be time to tell them what to do next but they're busy breathing they're not thinking ah, what's next what are you gonna tell us now um, the inside voice is a little chatterbox And inside the voice, as Rick Pagnio says, shush your mouth. That's what that inside voice needs to be doing. Shush your mouth. So tomorrow's another day. I'm so full of energy right now. I'm supposed to sleep. I gotta be there at six o'clock in the morning. And uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to do some Ujjayi breathing, I guess myself to sleep but it's pretty fun I'm pretty excited I'm way less nervous than I was yesterday I was a wreck I was trying to get my food together and get my stuff for my clients so he could have what he needed for the week while I've been just dark and I'm running around I was just a bundle of nerves and I was trying to relax and I wasn't having very good luck with that and I was up late and uh, the anticipation was like always worse than it actually was and uh, I already learned so much I mean uh, um, we were teaching I think there's ten of us each person went up and taught a pose or more and wow it's sure different when someone goes up there and has energy and enthusiasm and that comes through and it was a confidence and it feels really good it feels safe and I want to give that to my students I want to be that person I want to I want to be that comfortable so that's my goal um, I want to get up there and just bam give it to them and uh, there's something else I was going to tell you I'm gonna remember. Oh, <laughs> the pose that I want to conquer. Hands down, it scares the bejesus out of me to say that I want to want to conquer that because I know what that means. That means I have to do it. That means I have to be scary, scared, and I have to push past it. And I need to believe in myself and. If I fall, I fall. Whatever. I just have to do. I have to do it. I have to try. And I can fail. And I can fail. I can fail. fail. And at some point, it's going to all mesh. And I'm going to be able to do it. And Damn, that's going to feel so good. I'm going to show you a handstand. When it happens, there will be a video. Anyway. Uh, end of day one. Feeling good. Talk to you guys soon.